when we talk about compound inequalities and we have an and where both inequalities when solved go in one direction, we have to take the smaller graph. The smaller graph just means we have to only look at the inter interval where there is overlap. So if we solve a example one, add six to both sides, and we get five x is greater than or equal to thirty-two, divide by five, and we get x is greater than or equal to thirty-two fifths. Now let's solve the other inequality. We've got subtract one from both sides. So now we have three x is greater than x minus ten. And then subtract x from both sides. To get two x is greater than negative ten. So if I divide by two, I get x is greater than negative five. So now I need to graph it. If this is zero on my number line, thirty-two fifths will be somewhere over here, a little more than six, and x is greater than negative five will be somewhere over here. We'll call that negative five. Since x is greater than or equal to thirty-two fifths, it's going to be a closed dot heading toward positive infinity, and x is greater than negative five is also heading toward positive infinity, but it is an open dot. Notice that the only area in which they overlap is right here, heading toward positive infinity. So that's why you take the smaller graph, and it has to be a closed dot heading toward positive infinity. So the interval in which this and inequality is true is from thirty-two fifths to positive infinity. Let's look at example two. If we distribute the two through, we get eight x plus eight is greater than six x plus two. I'm going to subtract six x from both sides. And I'm also going to subtract eight from both sides. Two steps in one. So I'm going to have two x is greater than negative six. Dividing by two on both sides, we get x is greater than negative three. And we also have seven minus x is less than or equal to three plus x. So I'm going to add x to both sides. Try that again. Subtract x from both sides. To clear the x on the right side. And I will also subtract seven. So I'm going to get negative two x is less than or equal to negative four. Now if it, I divide by a negative number on both sides, I'm going to have to flip my inequality over. So this will give me x is greater than or equal to two. So now we can graph our two 
inequalities, there's zero. To the left is negative infinity, to the right is positive infinity, and we want to graph x greater than negative three. Let's call this right here negative three. If x is greater than negative three, it's going to be an open dot heading toward positive infinity. And our other statement is x is greater than or equal to two. We'll call this two here. It's going to have to be a closed dot since it's greater than or equal to, but it's also heading toward positive infinity. Since it's an and or the overlap, we have to take the smaller graph and then head toward wherever the lines continue to overlap. So let's graph where the inequalities are true from two heading toward positive infinity. And my interval is going to be from two with the bracket to positive infinity. And since we can never reach positive infinity, it's a parenthesis.